Jorge Tefano, Paul Jasmine O, as part of the Kahao ETL Scholarship Program, all applicants have been asked to take part in a five video series of five comfort challenges, and we need to do this over five days. The point of these challenges is basically just to really push us out of our comfort zone um, and get us comfortable with things that might normally make us quite uncomfortable. For example, I'm doing this video. The first comfort challenge is called eye gaze. What this consists of is keeping eye contact with every single person that you come into contact with all day. And you're not to look away until they do. So given the circumstances, we are in a level four lockdown, we are wearing masks that basically cover the whole half of our face. I knew that this was going to be a challenge within a challenge. And there really wasn't a lot of eye contact going on out there at all. In fact, I would even make a bold claim as to say, I think people were avoiding it, if anything. However, I was able to get a wee bit of a connection going with the cashier at the very end of my shop, where we did exchange words and some eye contact as well. So what did I learn from taking part in this comfort challenge today? Well, first and foremost, I learned that the eyes are truly the window to the soul. Because through looking at her straight into the eyes, I could see that she was worried, that she was a wee bit fearful, she was very guarded. And had I not been looking at that, I probably wouldn't have been able to respond the way that I did. And by the end of the conversation, she was smiling through her eyes. And secondary learning from taking part in this challenge today, that really does underpin the whole thing, is that through maintaining eye contact with someone, you can feel them. You can feel who they are, what they're going through, what their motives are, how authentic they're coming across, what it is, what's going on with them, and then you can respond accordingly. So had I have not been maintaining eye contact with her, I may have missed the subtlety. So yeah, that is my learning for number one. Thank you everybody for all your support and watching as I go through my five day challenge. I'll be back tomorrow with 